today I'm going to show you how to use the OBS Studio and Streamlabs chatbot to have versus mod for Beat Saber trigger sources in OBS to make cool effects like this in your stream. I want to give a big shout out to Lightsaber74 for making this video possible and also to Nate1280, the creator of Versus Mod, for bringing a very fun feature to a very fun game. Links to their Twitch channel is going to be down below the descriptions of this video. Now, to be able to do this, I am assuming that you already have OBS Studio, you already have the Streamlabs chatbot, and you have the Versus Mod already installed for Beat Saber. With that being said, let's, let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So, you're going to be able to find all the links of the tools that you will need uh, in the description down below. Now, the first thing you want to do is you will want to download Python 2.7.13. Uh, just grab the Windows X8064 MSI installer. I'm not sure if some of you use this Macs, but if so, you probably want to just grab the right uh, bit version for it. Just download that. And once you have that downloaded and installed, it's going to appear in your C drive as Python 27. Next, you want to download the OBS remote plugin. All right, so this is the OBS WebSocket 4.6.1. Now, for this one, you can download the installer or you can download the zip file. If you decide to go with the zip file, uh, which I did because you have a readme file that is in there that you will probably want. I'm not sure if it comes with the installer because I haven't tried it, but I just grabbed the zip file. If you do grab the zip file, so what you'll want to do is you will want to unzip it. In your C drive, program files, and then your OBS studio. You just want to just unzip it in here. Next, you will want to get the OBS remote parameters uh, 1.3.0. That is the latest um, version for it. <clears throat> now, this can be found in, in the Streamlabs chatbot's Discord server in the scripts channel. And you will find it here. I have put in the description a link to download it a lot easier as in here you'll have to actually search for it in this list of scripts. So you can use the link that I put down below to make it easier for you. However, this channel is where you will most likely find any updates that they will release in the future. Now, once you have downloaded those three, you've installed the Python, you've unzipped this in the OBS Studio folder in your C drive. Uh, what you need to do next, you want to go into your Streamlabs chatbot. Now, you want to make sure that in the connections down here, your Twitch bot and your Twitch streamer, you want those connected. You're going to need those. Uh, for Twitch bot, if you already have an account for that, you create in Twitch, you can use that. Or else, just like I do, I just use my name as my bot, uh, which is per perfectly fine. Then you want to go into your scripts. Now, in scripts, you want to go into your settings. And here, for the directory, you want to click on pick folder. And once, just go ahead and select the C drive Python 27 lib folder. Go back. And then here, mine is already there. But to add it, all you have to do is import. And you want to import the OBS remote parameters 1.3.0. I put it on my desktop, but for you, it might be in your downloads. That's fine. Just select the zip content. You don't want to unzip it. You just want to select the zip content. You click on open. It gets added here. And then you just make sure that it is also enabled. Once this is done, go back to connections. Go to OBS remote. The IP and port should already be there. If not, this is what you want in there. 127.0.0.1. And the port is quadruple fours. Then just click on connect. It's going to make this appear. You should see this new WebSocket connection. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to add your sources that you want triggered from versus mod. So, for example, I have a group here that has the media source. It has the words a challenger approaches. I have my neon glitch that appears and that alarm that you hear. So this is one that one that I have. I have another one that is just when I lose a challenge, when I win, and his name is John C. Uh, when somebody challenges me, is that a challenge? 
And if somebody tries to challenge me, but I'm already beating them with that song, I have another uh, another source here that I get triggered. <laughs> so once you have your sources for the events that you want in OBS, you name them. Now, when you have multiple sources that you want triggered at the same time, I personally like grouping them. The reason is once my command is created and everything like that, all I have to do is if I want to make any changes is just change what's inside my group. So let's say I don't want to use that alarm anymore. I want to put something else or I want to add more stuff on my screen. I can just add the source in OBS and I don't have to change anything else anywhere else. So it just makes it a lot easier for you in the future if you do decide to do this or else if you use multiple sources but you add them all in a single line in the command. If you make any changes, then you have to go in your into your chatbot and edit the command as there as well. Save yourself some time. Put them in groups if you have multiple things happening for certain events. All right. So these sources can be for anything like I just showed you. It could be for when you accept a challenge, you lose a challenge, you win a challenge. Somebody challenges you on like the new golf feature uh, on versus mod, the, the claws. You name it, anything that can happen that versus mod triggers and says in your chat, you can add, you can create a command for it. Now, in the OBS remote parameters folder, you'll see a readme file. In this readme file, you have a whole bunch of different kinds of commands that you can create. The one that I use is this one. So this makes a source either turn on and off or then off and on. I don't use the off and on. I use the one that it turns it on and then turns it back off for a certain amount of time. Now the delay is in seconds. All right, so, you put, so for delay, you would put how much seconds that you want. So what you want to do next is if you go to your C drive and you go to your program files x86, go to Steam, your Steam apps, common, Beat Saber, user data, and versus. And if you scroll all the way down, you will see your custom strings. Now in here, this is everything that could that versus mod can put into your chat. So for example, if you've lost the challenges, it, it says this. If you fail the challenge, it says this. If you accept, if you concede, if you haven't played uh, and somebody challenges you, if you have played it and somebody challenges you, if you're already beating them. If it's already, you know, like anytime any of these, you can decide which one that you want a, a trigger to happen for sources in OBS. So I'm going to be working with the accept just to give you examples of how I've done it. So when I, I accept a challenge, usually it would only say this, but I put my command in front of it and I'm going to show you how to do that. So now that I've decided a command that I want to do, you would create a new command. I already have one, so I'm going to show you how I've done it. So usually you would just come here to add and you would create a new command. Now the command itself, uh, you can name it anything you want. This can be literally anything that you want to name it. That is fine. I've decided chal ACC, uh, ACC just for challenge accept, uh, accepted. And this is how I done it for uh, just to organize myself. Now for permissions, it has to be user specific and you have to put your name. Okay. Or else and if you put everyone, everyone would can just type this and then it triggers it each time. But the versus mod will use your name and it'll use your name in chat for you and it'll put the phrase there for you. So what you want to do then is just use your name because when you say that in chat, it triggers the command. And now the command, like I said, you have, it's the dollar sign OBS time source. Like I showed you that I use, it's the source, which is the group. So in this case, in this case, so I want the group to trigger. Okay. All of them. So I selected the group. So this is already off and this is set that the mode is on off. So it turns it on and then it turns it off after five seconds. Once you've put all of this in, you would click on submit and you have your command there. So what you want to do next is then you come in the custom strings and that new command that I just created, which is the child accept, 
I put it at the very beginning of the phrase that I want it to trigger. So for accept, so when I accept a challenge, I want this command to trigger. You put it after the quotation and you put the command name right in front of the phrase. So now what happens is that this gets told in chat by me, this is versus mod, and this makes this command trigger. Now I should have mentioned that you have to put the, the you have to put them in the quotation marks uh, in between the, like the source mode and the delay. Remove the brackets, but you you, you put them in between the, the quotation marks. So each time that I accept a challenge, this gets sent into my chat, which triggers this, which the action is to turn this on for five seconds, and then it turns it off. Okay, now. Note that versus mod, for certain things, it has like more than one string for it. For example, when somebody challenges me and I have not played it or that I have played the song already, there's a string for each of those two different scenarios. So, for example, so I did create my challenge. Uh, when somebody challenged me, it plays the sound that uh, is that a challenge. But I to make sure that it happens each time that somebody challenges me, I put my command in front of both of them. So this command is the one right here, and it's set up to trigger my versus challenged, this one. So each time somebody challenges me in chat, is that a challenge? This gets triggered, okay? So that is pretty much it about it. So all this, and like I explained, all of this works because versus mod will now say that phrase on my behalf in my Twitch chat. So since the command will be at the start of the phrase, it'll trigger the command and trigger the sources for the how I've set it up using the OBS parameters, this new plugin here. So I hope you have fun with this. Don't forget to join the versus mod discord. It's going to be in the description of that as well. Uh, if you haven't already done so, if you have further any questions, you can go in there and talk about the versus mod and things like that. Uh, and, you know, and, you know, just to share the love of competitive beat sabers with your friends. You know, show them really who's boss. <laughs> All right, MBD out.